Thank you for joining us today. And we are very excited to introduce you to Alicia Smith. She is the featured author in Voices of the 21st Century, Women Who Influence, Inspire, and Make a Difference. Mm -hmm. This book serves as an opportunity for women from around the world to come together and share their voice and their truth. It's done by one woman simply stepping into her truth to be vulnerable and transparent. And we know this takes great courage, which is why more of us who step up and rise to use our voices to inspire, to educate, and to guide. We must support one another, both by listening and sharing. So uh, we're super excited, as I mentioned, to introduce you to Alicia Smith. Alicia, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Oh, love. I'm, I've been looking forward to our conversation today because you share just a, a headline grabbing, very inspirational, super powerful, unique story. Uh, and I would love to dive in and give our listeners an opportunity to get to know you. Um, and so first, uh, in the story that you share, in, um, what inspired you to share this story? I think the main thing that inspired me to share the story is to inspire hope in other women and in other people in general and to understand how powerful the human spirit is and the human spirit will prevail and I, I'm a firm believer in that and not only can the human spirit prevail in times of tragedy and struggle, but I, I truly believe that we can all triumph in our life wherever we are. And I think another reason that I was so inspired to share this story is, is gun violence. It's an everyday occurrence and it is something that needs to stop. <laughs> I am so blessed that I'm still on this earth after being shot through the liver with an AK-47. And this is all about giving not just women, but everybody a voice. And I feel so called to be that voice for those who have lost their lives due to gun violence. And I hope that this, this book and my story can make a difference. Uh, absolutely. I know when um, we first met, and you shared, you know, the fact that you were shot by an AK-47. Wow. <laughs> First of all, let's just stop there and absorb yeah. that for a second. <laughs> wow. And and you're ve and very young, a college yes. student. Yes, I was 21. Oh, that's crazy. So, but yet, you are so positive. This was, I remember asking you, or you had meant, made the statement to me that you wouldn't change a thing. Yeah. So it's just going in, I mean, where does, where do you find that strength, that attitude? Well, first and foremost, for me, it's, it's my faith, but I am such a firm believer that good can come out of every bad situation. And I'll say it's not easy. It's not just something that I say and expect everybody to, to achieve and, and try to get to that point. But I'm, I think that life is all about perspective. And has it drastically changed my life? Absolutely. Is my life anything like I thought it would be when I was younger and even when I was 21? No, it is nothing like I thought it would be. But I think that I've worked really hard at trying to find the good in, in any situation and particularly in this situation. And it's really, I believe, made me a better person because of it, even though I can't say I'd want to relive all of that again, but I, I don't think that I would change it because I am who I am now and I, I'm where I'm at in my life now because of what has happened in my life. And I love that in the story that you do share, you, you share about that moment when you were shot, um, you share about how you went through it and where you're at today. And it's absolutely remarkable um, and 
you know, to our listeners out there right now, what do you expect, what would you want them to take away from reading this story? I think a huge thing that I want any reader to take away is that adversity in life can always be a catalyst for growth. And no matter where you're at in life and what has happened in your life, you can overcome that adversity. And, you know, life is all about moving from one end of the spectrum to the other and growing as a human and continuing to um, grow spiritually, you know, emotionally, mentally. And I think that one of the big things I want everyone to take away is that Yes, that tragedy and struggles are a part of life, but you can overcome those, those tragedies and you can live a better life because of those, because of those tragedies. Just absolutely remarkable. And you are a true demonstration of overcoming such a horrific event, one that is unimaginable to most people. So how has this story impacted your life today in terms of where are you at today? Yeah. You know it's impacted quite a bit, but how, how, where are you today? Well, this story, my story has changed everything about my life. I was a dancer in college and then I was, I was shot and, and, and it was a very strict, It was a a very, I'm sorry. (laughs) It was a very difficult dance college to get into. And I was able, I started working towards that goal when I was six years old. And of course, when I was shot, that changed everything. It changed everything. That is what I wanted to do when when I grew up. I wanted to be a professional dancer. And I have, of course, life has taken me a completely different direction because of that. And I still get to teach, teach dance, but I'm not a dancer anymore. I wouldn't, I don't get to perform all the time. Like I, like I used to, um, because of some of the health issues that I've had due to the gunshot wound. I am living back in my hometown where I thought I probably would never come back to. Um, I'm, you know, married, I have kids and I'm now an author and I am a motivational and inspirational speaker. I'm a teacher. And so my life has drastically changed. And it's very different than what I had planned out when I was younger and what I thought I'd be doing when I was younger. But I can certainly say that it's better than what I had planned out. But I am in a completely different place in my life than I ever thought I would be. Wow, better than what you thought. That's absolutely a, really fantastic. Now you wrote a book where yes. you go even deeper into your story. Yes. Right? Because there's a lot more to your story. Uh, the aftermath of being shot, what happens, especially when it's associated with a gang. So Tell us the book title. Tell us where we can get that book. Um, If you have a website or, you know, please. Yeah, the title of the book is Thread. And just interesting, it was a gang-related shooting, and I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I was in the car, and I was shot through the car. He was shooting at someone else from across the street. And so when I was taken to the hospital for fear that they would come back, because at that point, the police and the hospital didn't know that I wasn't involved in that in any way. But for my safety, they just give you a random word, doesn't mean anything at all. And the word that I went by my hospital stay, I wasn't allowed to go by my name, was was threat. So that's what the name of my book is. And you can um, find that book by going to www.aliciasmithspeaks.com. Aliciasmithspeaks.com. Yes. Got it. (laughs) 
and and a powerful story. So if you want to get to know Alicia uh, a lot more, because she doesn't hold back. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> it, it's it is behind the curtain, um, really, of what would happen to life of yourself, your family. Yes. Everybody. It touches everyone around you, not just not just me physically, but it touched every single person around me. Remarkable. And then we hear your voice, we see you, and you're just so humble, so beautiful. You you see your beauty of your spirit, just an amazing woman that you are. And I'm just so happy that you're here. You're you're Thank truly you. have, um a gift to share with this world and it's why you're here and you're doing a really great job at it alicia thank you i appreciate that <laughs> all right so um i want to thank alicia officially for joining us today oh my goodness and <laughs> uh, before we say um so long uh alicia do you have any words of wisdom that you would like to leave that listener who's connecting with you right now Yes, I think something that I always try to live by and that I, I believe in is that we cannot control other people. I could not control the young man who, who shot me, but we do have control over how we are going to react to those circumstances that we're in. And it is our choice no matter what circumstance we are in, it is our choice to allow that circumstance to make us bitter or better. And I had to come to a place in my life where I had to choose and fight to make this situation and allow it to grow me into a better person and change my perspective on life because that's the only way you can do that. And it's not an easy task. But I would just encourage others to remember that you always have control however you're, how you're going to respond to a situation. And ultimately, that situation can allow you to become a better person, no matter what that situation is. Huh. Alicia Smith, <laughs> Alicia Smith speaks. Dot com. Yes. I'm telling you, any organization listening today, anybody that needs some powerful inspiration to come into your schools, to come into your workplace, we all deal with, you know, um, tough situations, uh, not all of them shootings, but we're dealing with all sorts of different kinds. Yes. You can see that Alicia sees that good. She's seeing the good of any situation. And um, again, a, just an amazing, powerful demonstration of how you live your life today. I want the whole world to see you. You need to be everywhere, Alicia. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. So thank you again. And to our listeners, oh, I'd really like to thank you for joining us uh, today. Uh, for this special interview with Alicia. And we would invite you to join us again next week where we learn and hear from another uh, woman sharing her voice. And remember, your message matters too. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Thank you again for joining us and we will talk to you soon. Thank you.